It was light, camera, science in the Francis Wyman Auditorium last Thursday as the Burlington Public Schools Science Center dazzled students with an interactive show to both educate them and get them engaged in science. It was part of the school department's STEM week activities, meant to give students exposure to topics in science, technology, engineering, and math to hopefully inspire them to further their studies in these areas in the future. STEM week is a state initiative that has been fully embraced by Burlington schools. Here in Burlington, we're doing a lot of great work um, in our libraries. Students are uh, being introduced to computer science concepts. And here, uh, you know, the Science Center, what we're doing is we've spent the whole week traveling to each of our elementary schools um, uh, performing this light show presentation where we get to share some of the more engaging demonstrations that uh, we know uh, as it pertains to light energy. The Science Center explored the multiple forms, uses, and interesting details of light. Um, we, we focused on the science of light. Um, light is a subject that connects to all the scientists, sciences, whether it's life science, um, space science, physical science, and we did demonstrations talking about how light behaves, how we use light to communicate, and then the basic concepts of light itself. The multifaceted show packed in a lot of information and a lot of visual effects. It was designed to both educate students and make them excited about the subjects of science. Um, these are very visual for kids and when we do demonstrations like this it really tends to, to sink in. It connects the content that they're learning in the classroom with the real world. There are um, things that are extraordinary that a classroom teacher necessarily couldn't do like all together with the time allotted within a classroom. So by us presenting and doing this as an auditorium program, um, it really connects all aspects and, and brings that excitement to kids but still focuses on those science concepts and connects it to the curriculum that they're doing in the classroom. And even when kids grow up and come to high school and they visit the Science Center, these are the shows that, uh, things that really stick out in their memory. They really remember these demos connected with that science concept. So for some reason, um, it's kind of like the edutainment where you're doing the education but putting that entertainment piece in and it really makes it meaningful for the student. It's a lot of work to put a show like this together, but if it helps inspire students to pursue the sciences, it is all worth it for Sean and Wendy. Well, especially here in Massachusetts, we know that um, there's a lot of uh, jobs in our workforce that are going to require uh, the skills that uh, scientists, uh, engineers, mathematicians need. But more importantly to us, like you know, these are just fields that are engaging and. Uh, you know, really enrich our kids' lives in terms of their abilities to investigate and explore their world. So um, promoting those, uh, those fields of study, if you will, for a week uh, to uh, encourage kids to pursue them on their own is, is part of the game. From the Francis Wyman Auditorium, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford.